Hello, this is Danny at DEG here. I want to show you a cool little trick in CCC, how to retroactively apply your labor rates. So when you create a supplement in CCC, in your rate tab, you can see that you can apply a new labor rate versus the approved estimate of record labor. So we're going to go ahead and update this labor rate to a new number, and we'll call it 55 here. So from here, you'll see when you go to your estimate of record or your estimate screen, and then you go to your totals, the updated labor rate did not apply to the estimate of record amount, and there's no supplement being generated. So right off the bat, we know that the, uh, the labor rate is not only being applied to anything new being added onto the estimate moving forward. Well, what about if we want to apply the correct labor rate to the previous estimate of record? Well, we can do it one of two ways. In your rates tab, you have it updated to 55, but in your estimate of record tab, you'll see it's still currently at 50. So we can go ahead and manually change this to reflect the new amount. And when we go to our estimate screen, into our totals, you can see a new supplement amount being added to the estimate of record. The other way we can do this is we can go back to our estimate of record and we'll just change this back as if it was the way it was before. And then again, in our supplement uh, rate screen, we're going to go ahead and click apply rates retroactively. And you can see in the estimate of record rates, it gets transferred over as well. And again, you'll see the supplement of 350 still applies. Well, I hope this video helps you apply the rates correctly to any estimate of records, as well as uh, the rate, how to apply it to the, anything being added on moving forward. If you have any questions, reach out to the DEG directly. Thank you and have a great day.